Hey everybody, Forgotten Coins here. And today I want to go through a few of the new um, coins that I got in uh, from the mail from a few different dealers. And it all, sh all showcases similar type of toning uh, as I usually you know, put on this channel. But um, there's a few pieces in here other than my normal uh, Morgan and Peace dollars that I'm really excited to show off. Um, but first up here is this 1899 O Morgan dollar. Uh, just really nice example of this kind of toning. Um, and I've always enjoyed, you know, how stark of a line, um, you know, this coin has, and it has some, kind of some of that electric blue right over here by the stars. Um, just a really attractive piece. Really nice coin, good luster. And just always good to have another example in the collection. Next up is this really nice 1885 Philly Morgan Dollar with a tape tone on the obverse um, and fully toned reverse. Um, and what's really nice about this one is you know, oftentimes as kind of seen with the, um, this 1899 down here is you'll often get toning on the obverse or whatever side had the tape, um, but none on the other side. The other side's just kind of blast white. But with this one, it's got this really nice um, coloration that's all throughout the reverse. You know, all these yellows and blues um, and a bit of those reds <clears throat> kind of pop through. And this one seems to be like an older die as well with all those die cracks um, and just great luster, great eye appeal. And what I really like about the, the reverse on this one is down here by $1, you got these you know really bright um, rainbow dotted coloration. Um, that I, I'm I'm just wondering on how they got this type of toning on both sides. Um, and the obverse is super nice um, with the same type of, you know, coloration. It has even more of that um, kind of rainbow um, dotting throughout the obverse. And what's really nice is, you know, a lot of times when you get the tape toning, none of that's um, toning sits in the recesses of the design. It just kind of pulls away whenever the residue is removed. Um, but this one retain, retained some of that toning and some of that coloration real, really well. And I'm not sure if that's just to do with the um, type of tape that was used or um, if it was, you know, to do with how hard it was pressed in or if it was lightly just covering the coin. But I think mean, this is just a really striking example, and I think some true views would really make this coin pop. Uh, next up is this uh, double tape toned 1922 Beast Dollar. And it's not in the greatest shape. Um, you know, it's probably about an AU coin, high AU coin, um, maybe an old wipe. But, you know, the, term, the toning's pretty terminal. On this but I just I picked it up because I really liked how it was the you know really a, kind of a cross shape um, from the tape you know it, it's just really really interesting um, and when we get to the reverse here you know may, I think we'll end up showing this coin um, in a bit more detail in another video uh, just because I think it could be a new die variety and you know we'll get into vams another day um i've actually got a really cool piece in my collection uh to show you but yeah the, the reverse has kind of this terminal and i'm not sure if you know this would end up being called environmentally damaged i don't see any issues with this toning getting into the surface but it's almost this rust um this rust color 
uh, that's just a little past rainbow. And I'd be really curious to see of what this looked like had it been pulled a little bit earlier. Uh, next up is this 1954 Washington Quarter. Uh, and not only is, you know, this obverse is super nice, very flashy, uh, great luster, um, almost fully terminal, but you still got some of those rainbow, rainbow hues poking through, um, which is always just, you know, something fun to look at. Uh, you know, but the reverse is also kind of where this coin comes into play because not only is the obverse uh, tape tone, but the reverse is really interesting. You've got the, it's not a straight tape toning. I'm not sure how it ended up getting this, you know, type of design on the reverse. This coin was actually from uh, Akusha Collectibles. Uh, he's has, you know, some videos here on uh, YouTube. He's got his own channel. Um, and he's also on Instagram as well. Um, and this came from a set of, I believe it was seven coins. Uh, and he let me pick out which one I liked because he knows I like this type of toning. But this rainbow just really pops. Just fantastic. You know, I might end up getting it um, graded and having it replace the coin I currently have as a Washington Quarter example in my tape toned set, but when I'm kind of seeing how that goes. And I'd like to say last but most certainly not least um, is this Ike dollar. And what's, you know, I just got, this one was the most recent coin um, that I got in and I purchased it because I think it would be an amazing example um, in my typeset. It's got, you know, these really blazing, just scattered rainbow toning all throughout the coin and some, you know, professional photos really make this coin pop. And it's got that stark line um, on the reverse across the eagle. Uh, I don't know how this coin was stored um, as far as, you know, what type of toning it would constitute as. But my, you know, my camera's not doing this coin justice. It looks amazing in hand. It's not the highest grade, but it looks really, really nice. But my only issue with this coin uh, is actually on the obverse. Um, you know, it, it does have this really nice rainbow uh, target toning. Um, but I think as you can kind of see, they kind of pop right there. They have the, there are these striations uh, and scratches that go uh, from the fields into the neck of um, Eisenhower here. And that wasn't really advertised when I purchased the coin. And I paid a good amount um, of premium for, for just the toning. Um, so I got to mention to the seller and kind of ask him, you know, what, what the deal is, if I can get maybe a slight discount. Cause I really like the coin other than that. Um, but I just don't know if I would have paid that full amount. Um, if I had known about the scratches, um, but you can see, you know, this 1972D, uh, this toning just really looks phenomenal. Um, and it's really hard to come by clad Ike dollars um, with this level of coloration. Um, and, you know, it's probably a mid, mid state. It's not anything crazy high grade, you know, granted minus the scratches. Um, I don't think it'll straight grade, uh, which is really the only thing that kind of upsets me. And you can see another one right by his cheek going straight down through his neck. But, you know, I still might end up keeping it um, just to, you know, get true views on it and just have a nice um, example to showcase because I don't know if I've ever seen an Ike dollar with 
um, that type of toning before. And it might be a bit more difficult to, you know, find something that like that to kind of showcase as an example. Um, but that's what I have for you all today, everybody. Uh, let me know what you think of these coins. You know, what's your favorite? Um, I think mine's either the 85 uh, Philly Morgan or the Ike Dollar up at the top left. Um, but I've got a couple more videos coming out uh, in the near future. Uh, so feel free to keep your eyes out for that. Um, subscribe if you know that's something that you're uh, looking to do. Keep your eyes out for that. And that's it for me, everybody. And have a great day.